live viewers. My name is America Guerrero, broadcasting live from Mexico City. Today is June 12th, and we are going to have the recap. Joining me is Monica Novello from Merida, Hi. Yucatan. Hey, Mon. Hi. Are you ready? What we're going to do today basically is going to be a conversation about what we learned last week. Are you ready? We had a conversation with Dan Schmerin, correct? Yeah. Co-founder and president at the company Metaversal. And the topic was from global meltdown to quantum leap, why tokenization will save the world. How to reap the rewards of evolving web three technologies with the extraordinary possibilities of tokenization. And... This entire innovation is moving at an incredible pace. And so that's the first part of excitement. Uh, all the things that are happening now are enabled and building upon the innovation that's happened in the past. So that's the first point that we need to acknowledge. This hasn't come out of thin air. What we call Web3 is this new iteration of the internet. And it's important to frame that trajectory because we're students of history. Web one was really read only. Web two took that a step further. It built upon read only and made it read plus write. And then we are embarking on this third iteration, which is read, write, and own. So please, Mon, start. You were the host, the main yeah. host of that show. Yeah, and what a show, really. I feel like even though this was the only show uh, during this week, it was such a broad uh, topic. Uh, we could just go on and on and on. Like, I felt like I had to cut down uh, Dan because he had so many examples. And it was like, oh, we only have 30 minutes. But, yeah. yeah. I remember that you said, you can apply this technology in every industry. Yeah. And yeah. I remember that Dan uh, shared some fascinating insights about tokenization. That is a difficult word for me. And its potential yeah. to transform various industries. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, please. No, I'm just responding to, <laughs> to what you're, I mean, I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, he did say it was applying to everything and like every industry we know. Uh, and this is because tokenization really is a system in which uh, there's like a code or like a fingerprint. It kind of reminds me uh, of last week's show, like before this week. Uh, and it marks uh, certain objects, not objects, but like digital objects and digital uh, items. Uh, so you can track back to the original creator. And we saw these with NFTs at the beginning. I remember uh, the whole conversation of NFTs being like, oh, but why if you can just like uh, double click and save this, this monkey, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so this how is it yours? It's because it's tokenized. And you may save a copy, but you will never own the original copy, which you can track back to the original creator. And now they are taking this system and applying it to everything else, which is incredible. Exactly. This gives individuals a sense of ownership and control over their data and assets, which were previously controlled by large companies. Well, there mm -hmm. are some occasions of that. And these shifts towards tokenization can lead to financial inclusion, innovation in healthcare, and even open source development of life-saving drugs. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And I feel like, as I said, I feel like this was such a broad topic. Like we could just keep making up examples and, you know, in, in fashion and, you know, in healthcare, in finances, in technology and amazing. So I, I, it was really a great show, even though like it, we only had that show. I feel like I learned a lot this week in yeah. the your life. Yeah, don't you think that this will empower individual, individuals like you and me, right? Yeah, it will enable us to become creators in our own right and cultivate vibrant communities. It is just so exciting. And I cannot wait of what we're going to learn this week. Could you share yeah. with us? Yeah, of course. This week we have two shows coming. And even though the first show we don't have a tagline for yet, it's going to be with, I lost my notes right now, <laughs> <laughs> with Dennis Kent from Prolific Machines. Uh, that's going to happen on Wednesday. And then 
on Thursday, we do have a check line. We are going to be uh, talking about proven techniques for creating high performance teams with Scott Wiener, a fractional CTO and transformation practice practice lead. Oh, what is happening today? Wow. <laughs> At New Union. Perfect. So don't miss those shows. Let's cross our fingers that we're going to have the show on Wednesday, but wait for the shows and see you there. Thank you, everybody, and have a good day.